Hi guys, my name is Caroline Strom and I'm going to do that weird thing where I film an awkward video while I'm driving home um, from work. Only reason being this is like my only free time. So I know it's illegal. I know it's probably not super safe, but I'm not going to look at the camera. Um, and uh, there's not many people on the road since no one's working. So the reason I'm driving home from work right now is because I am the nurse manager down at the blood marrow transplant clinic at KU Med. Um, so life's been a little bit hectic the last three to four weeks for us. Um, but not only am I the manager at the clinic, but I'm also a 17 year leukemia survivor. So that is why the team asked me to just shoot you guys out a message really quick. Um, so I was diagnosed when I was 23 with chronic myeloid leukemia. Um, it rocked my entire world, but it also, um, I wasn't gonna become a nurse until after that. So I guess, you know, hashtag silver lining, right? Um, so I wanted to just share with you that I'm sure you've heard this and you've probably seen it, um, but cancer doesn't cancel. And I'm here to tell you that firsthand. Um, we had over 250 patients roll through our clinic last week. Um, we probably have the same number rolling through this week. Um, I got three emails of new diagnoses over the weekend of um, acute leukemias coming into our health system over the weekend. Um, this is still happening and just because a pandemic ha is happening doesn't mean that these cancer patients aren't still getting diagnosed and aren't still dying. Um, if anything, I'm actually a little bit afraid um, of what we're going to see after this because I feel like so many people are ignoring their symptoms of a new diagnosis because of fear of the health system and fear of coming to the hospital. So I think um, we're going to see a lot of patients show up really sick in a few months. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and thank you guys for what you're doing and tell you to keep going and tell you to push on. I know it's so hard asking for money in the midst of um, a pandemic when people are losing their job and losing family and getting laid off and everything that's happening in the economy is where it's at. And it's, I mean, you guys literally have the toughest campaign that anyone will ever have in the history of campaigns. So you at least got that for you, going for you. Um, so I'm here for you. If you ever just need someone to hop on a Zoom call with you or a presentation of some sort, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you and I'm happy to do it. Um, I've lived um, cancer and I'm still living cancer from a different perspective right now. And, um, you know, I had a really sobering moment tonight on my way out. Way out. That's why I'm recording this now because I feel like my heart's really open to just talking with you all. Um, but I was actually leaving work about an hour ago. It's almost 6.30 now. And um, a patient needed a little bit of help. And so I jumped in and, and assisted. And it's a patient I know really well and I love dearly. And so I sat down with them and just kind of chatted. And they actually have the same diagnosis that I have. Um, but their luck hasn't been near as good. And they asked a lot of questions about end of life and what it looks like if they were to stop treatment. And and things like that and it was really a, the sobering it was a sobering moment for me because it was a reminder that you know they don't care about COVID they don't care about what's going on around them all they care about is that they're living another day with this disease and they're not beating it and they're still having to come to clinic every day and get blood and get chemotherapy um, and so just remembering that again cancer doesn't get to cancel it's still here we still have patients that are coming in every day for blood transfusions and think about that like the most dangerous place for a patient with a compromised immune system to be right now is at the hospital and at my clinic, but they don't have a choice. They have to come because if they don't come, they very possibly could die. And so they're risking their life by coming to our clinic for the opportunity to live. So let that be your mission as you go through this. Let that be um, why you push on and why you fight and why you continue to ask and plead um, for donations and for people to, to just rise up during this time. So again, I'm here. If you guys need me, I will hop on a Zoom call. Just send me the invite and let me know. Um, the gals at the office have my contact information and will do what they can to get you in contact with me. So hang in there, guys. Love you and thank you for what you're doing.